Hi everybody, thanks for downloading the wheel spacer sample file. Uh, I want to go over a little bit about how to handle a file that you use a, uh, or how to use a, a file that uses design tables. Um, so you'll notice that this part is a fully modeled part and we've gone through already and we've toolpathed this entire part right to finish. So all the features are, are, are programmed all from the, the, the front side. Um, what's going to happen in this file is we're going to create multiple configurations of this similar part. So if you take a look at um, this revolve feature, you'll notice that these purple dimensions, or that there are purple dimensions, um, black means it's constrained, purple means it's driven externally by an Excel spreadsheet. So what we're going to do is we're going to create multiple configurations of this part, of these dimensions, and um, we'll watch the Mastercam toolpath react accordingly. So if you look at your configuration manager, you'll see that there is a design table here where we can right click and say edit table and that's going to bring up this um, this formatted design table you can just say okay with this this formatted design table where each column represents a different dimension and we've gone ahead and labeled each dimension um, with a name um, so you can either come through here and, and name your configuration and you know hand type in some values or you can use the uh, provided Excel spreadsheet here let's open this up So you'll notice that there is a uh, an entire list of um, randomly generated dimensions where where you can actually regenerate this spreadsheet um, if you go up to the formulas tab and say calculate now. That's going to recalculate all these dimensions to different random names. You know all these uh, these names change and everything. So I'm going to copy say four more configurations of this thing, and we'll go back to our SolidWorks part. And I will right click and say paste values only because there's there are equations inside of those. So you'll see we have now five configurations in a row. Or I'll click out of here. And now we're gonna get a, a warning from SolidWorks asking if we want to copy our Mastercam toolpaths to this second configuration. And I'll say yes I do. I want to copy my toolpaths. Do I want to apply this to all of them? Well, yes I do. So we've made these four new um, configurations where I can either go through and double click and that's going to build the new configuration of the part so you can kinda of watch this part change here so you can see it's a whole different shape and it went from six lugs down to four all of our Mastercam toolpaths are just simply dirty I can just regenerate And now you'll see these toolpaths are are built around this new geometry, right down to all of these um, these drill and contour operations are all you know they're they're slotted right into those those parts. And you'll even notice that the uh, engraving text is driven by the spreadsheet as well, where you'll see that. So now we're we're adapting, you know, this this lug pattern to that lug pattern. This is the thickness. And then it also engraves the uh, the name of the configuration. So Honda Civic is the name of this configuration. If you're going to make, you know, a multiple um, configurations of the same part, we also have a tool here where you can say regenerate all configurations, and this will regenerate all of the SolidWorks and Mastercam functionality. So now we've gone through and generated all these configurations, so I can just toggle through. So this one's a little bit of a uh, larger diameter. So there's really no limit to how, how many parts you can create with this, um, this method. As long as you uh, follow the rules of modeling your part fully before you program your part, and then you can go through and create these configurations. So now I would recommend that you go through and take a look at how these um, these toolpaths are, are selected as far as geometry goes um, and how their, their chaining manager works and how the uh, how they react to changes in the seed model and mostly in this one one seed sketch here and uh, from there you can take and make your own uh, Mastercam for SolidWorks design table sample part